Hey, what's up everybody? Here's another water comparison video. Tonight we're comparing these two waters. First up is Sheets for the Kids water. Next up is Sheets Spring Water. And obviously there's a, these are both from the store Sheets. Sheets is like a gas station slash convenience store. It's like a fancy, very fancy gas station type of store. They, they sell hot foods and just snacks. And sometimes they have like a lounge to actually eat the food. It's, it's a lot more fancy than a normal gas station. And they have over 500 locations. They were founded in the 50s by Bob Sheets. And uh, Sheets, they compete with like Get Go and Wawa, which is like the Philadelphia version. And um, Sheets is a store that some people are just in love with. <laughs> like when I was in college, um, some of my friends would have like debates over which is better, Sheets or Get Go. And some of them would just like obsess over, which I think is really weird. But um, this is their water. Sheets for the Kids is a charity that they run. For every bottle that's sold, they give 25 cents to a charity that helps children. I think part of it goes to the Make-A-Wish Foundation, which um, gives wishes to sick kids. And it says, since this has started, they've given $21 million, over $21 million to helping children. This was bottled by Roaring Springs Bottling Company. It says it's spring water. These are both by Rolling Springs Bottling Company. And they both say they're spring water. And they both say they're natural spring water. But they also say that they're micro-filtered, they're UV-filtered, and they're filtered with ozonation. Which is kind of weird to me, because they say that they're natural spring water. So is it really natural if they have all these, like, extra filters for the water? Um, I, th I think it's good. Like, I like water being as clean as possible and I like it being filtered and everything but I think it's weird that they call it natural spring water on the bottle when they have all these other filters in addition this bottle is is thicker it's like a smart water kind of plastic it's like thicker this one you know you can squeeze it and it's like a thinner plastic it feels like um so let's just open them up and do a taste test comparison and see which one tastes better here's the sheets for the kids water Tastes pretty average, to be honest. Um, they both have the full-size lid. Yeah, tastes pretty average. Both they both taste very very similar. Like it's actually a lot like it's like it's like a good quality tap water kind of. Um. Sheets for the Kids is $1.39. Sheets Spring Water is uh, 99 cents. At least at the store I bought these from. So you're paying an extra fee for the thicker bottle because th this, this bottle was 40 cents more. 25 cents goes to the charity. So that extra couple cents I guess is paying for the thicker bottle and this one is also this, this holds more water also so i guess that justifies the extra couple cents you pay i kind of like and dislike this label at the same time this this label feels like it was made in the, in the 90s it has like random shapes and stuff on it. Do you remember the show Saved by the Bell? This label reminds me of that show with just like the random shapes on it. And yeah, these two both they both taste exactly the same. Because they're, they're from the same bottling company and they have the same Filtration process. They, they really taste the same.
yeah, I'm gonna say that as far as the taste goes, it's a it's a tie. They taste just exactly the same to me. So I'm just gonna say that the winner is the uh, sheets for the kids water because they're helping out kids. So congratulations. You're moving on to the next round.